Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Zhengxu. Let's look at the problem for the six in chapter twenty-eight. Chapter twenty-eight is about source of magnetic fields. We have a square loop of a wire. The side side is D and the current is I. First one, we need to determine the magnetic fields at a location, right? We consider is this location is as a function of x, so this length is x. This p position is right. As a mirror symmetry, we can say for the above part, above side and the top side and the bottom side, if we draw the magnetic field there, we can say only the s component survive. Agree? Yes. Similarly, for the uh, front side and the back side, if we draw it, we can say only s component survive. So in this case, by symmetry, we can see the only x axis of magnetic field survive. So we consider Biot-Savart equation, write it there. And for a small fraction, we can consider it is just in the J component. So J component is there, right? And then we can write down the X component and the magnitude for X input the DL and R inside. We get the function look like this one. You can see J cross I is I component, right? Do the integral, you get answer there. The next one to ask you what if the x is much much larger than d? Uh, so if x is much much larger than d, so in this uh, bracket, so d can cancel, right? We can just uh, drop the d. Now it becomes this one, and we can simplify it. We get answer this. This is just the magnetic field for a magnetic dipole above a magnetic dipole, right? So there we can consider the d square i i component as a dipole. So this is a dipole, then we solve it. Thank you.